Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'll be showing you how I created a sidebar or generator with geometry nodes. This is a similar animation I created with the HUD. So I'll be showing you something similar to this. I will show you my process. So let's get started. So I created a plane which I'll use to create a new geometry node. Then I detach the inputs, group inputs from the output, then search for curve circle. Then I look for join geometry and duplicate the curve circle to make two circles and um, adjust the radius of the second circle. So I will look for a fill curve to fill in our circle. And just like that. Then change, you can adjust the resolution. I change the resolution of both circles to 42 half smooth edges. Next thing I will look for is a delete geometry to drive the revealing of the HUD. So it will be driven using a map range um, and a gradient texture. So you have to change your gradient texture from linear to radial. Good. So I'm going to get a transform node in order to have a control over the whole mesh. This will make an, um, your animation easier later on okay so now i'll be changing the radius of the, the inner radius of the circle to something less than zero but something less than one but not zero so i put 0 0.001 if you use zero it's not going to work properly so i duplicated the node to create another variation so i joined them together with the change geometry node and um, adjust the radius of the outer edge and the inner edge so to give us a different variation it still will be driven by the map range yeah that's cool so i want to create a plane which we will actually use as an instance so i got uh, a curve line and um, a curve to mesh node then you can duplicate the curve line and use it as a provide curve then we adjust it to get a plane so we use the plane as an instance on a circle so the plane will follow the on a curve curve circle the plane will follow the curve circle by creating a form of circular array so yeah i added a um, transform node to rotate the plane 90 degree 90 degree on the x-axis so now i'll be getting a curve circle to use for the instancing so i'll i will cut off the transform and i am um, input the curve circle and adjust the radius then i'll get instance on points node i'll get instance on point node and use my plane as the instance so i scale it down using the transform we added to the plane that's good so now we want to align the instances to the curve so we look for align euler to vector so attach it to the rotation and um, we are going to get a tangent curve node and input it to the vector so now we want to drive the revealing of the HUD, revealing the instances one after the other. So we are going to do that using a color ramp, such a color ramp to the scale. So this is going to control the scale. So we are going to get a math node to drive the scale. So, and also we we'll get a, an index node to actually control the scale from the starting point of the instance to the last point to the end point so that's that and you can use the other value to control it so if you want to change the angle it's angle of the um of the hood you can change the math node to subtract from add depends on how you want it to reveal so i don't like the way the curve the plane is kind of um i actually wanted a rounded plane the rounded corner so i'm going to subdivide the mesh and also add the subdivision modifier so 
subdivision surface node rather subdivision surface node and uh, subdivide the mesh two times so i'm going to add a transform node to all the mesh altogether after the instance on points node okay so that's that so we are going to duplicate the old mesh again to create another variation this variation is quite different i want to attach a, a circle and the instance to form a to form a single odd so i'll be using the joint geometry to join them together And join it to the main join geometry which goes to the output to the group output so now we can adjust the resolution and the radius of the curve circle and also we can adjust the inner and the outer radius second circle yes that's cool so i want that to be a complete circle so and also the instances i want it to be a complete circle all right so now i'm going to reduce the resolution of the instances that's to decrease the number to like five but i will later change it to seven later on so i want to also adjust the scale a bit yeah so let's adjust the scale a bit okay that's cool. So we are done with that. So we have to get one of the mesh to create the last one. That's the mesh for the instances. So before that, I want to group my nodes together, group the radar together, and separate them by color so that it will be easy to identify later on when you want to animate them. So I'm changing the colors for the frame. So grouping them together using Ctrl J. So this other one uh, is going to be a different variation of the instances. It's going to be longer, more of a rectangle than a square. So it's going to have two variations also. So I'm plugging it out to the main join geometry and adjust the radius. To bring it out then i will adjust i want it to be full circle so i'll be adjusting the inner radius and the outer radius just to give me a different variation Let's get a bit so i'm going to duplicate that exact one and uh, join them together using a joint geometry node yeah i don't like the way it's scaling the revealing so i'm going to add flow to each other to make it yeah just like this so uh i'm going to duplicate it and join them together using the join geometry node so what i'll be doing is changing the resolution as to affect the count i'll change the resolution to 24 so the count is actually lower than that then i'll change the outer radius i'm going to reduce the outer radius but yeah that's cool to give a different variation and also i'll be adding a transform node to control the mesh together you understand when i start animating it why i have to do all this so i'm going to group it together also just like this ones mm -hmm. then um, I'll be creating a material the man I only created a simple emission shader a simple emission shader so create a new material go to your shader editor and um, change it to emission animation changer you can change the color and i change my strength to four 
can choose any one you like depends on your preference or what you like to have so now i'm going to add a set material node that's the only way you can assign materials to your mesh in the geometry node so this is just to check so i'll be creating a separate material a separate set material node for each of the uh, each of the hot each of the radar so I'm trying to organize my scene here so I'll be creating variations of um, emission shader just I think three colors three colors I used only three colors so I'll be creating it and uh, assigning them to their respective uh, nodes so so just creating a variation and uh, yeah, attaching them respective nodes so after this, I'll be creating, I'll be a, okay, I'll be creating some inputs so I can be able to access it in the modifier properties so I can for easy access and I will be able to animate it from there and even create different variations instead of coming into the geometry node. So yeah, I only need the Z value of the position. So I have to use a combine X, Y, Z because I only be using the Z value. And also for the rotation, I'll be only, I'll only be needing the Z value. So to separate the Z value, I have to do that. If you are going to be using scale, you can do the same for scale, but I won't be using scale. I think it's better to use the inner and outer radius to drive it. It gives you a much more accurate result than uh, scaling them but it's your choice so I'm changing the name naming them and also setting their value range so you can also do the same um, so I had to add a two tip so that I know that this only moves up and down up and down rotation that's for the rotation that's very useful so I'll be creating a, uh, another input just to show you something I did and um, I think I'll be needing help on this so if you have a solution to it kindly leave them in the comment section I really appreciate it so I want to create I want the inner and the outer radius of the circle and the instance because they are part, they are actually a mesh to be controlled under one input so i had to use a separate xyz to drive it i had to use a separate xyz so that i can be able to group them so i took the radius the outer radius for the mesh for the instances then also took the outer radius for the curve circle which i used for the main circle then input it but we are left with one value which is not going to be functional which is why i need help maybe there's a way i could have done it so you can leave that in the comment section so here i'll be i'll be renaming it to inner radius and um, i'll put a two tip that z has no value has no function but it's actually occupying a space which i don't like so i really appreciate it thank you so uh, i'll be going ahead to animate it this is actually a different file and i had to put it there i had to include it so all i did was after getting my input out i just animated it in the modifier stack just adding keyframes to the rotation and then 
adding a modifier in the graph editor to the keyframes. I added noise modifier to some of the rotations and um, one I added um, a cycles modifier to the rotation in the graph ed editor. So for continuous rotation. So that's how I animated it. And I did some adjustments to the position. So you can do that also. You can feel free, add keyframes, edit it, and you get a result. At the end of this video, I have a sequence I created. I hope you will like it. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Thank you. Um, I'll be putting out some other and then geometry notes tutorial soon. So kindly subscribe and turn on the notification. Thank you. Bye.